What's up guys and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super delicious collard green recipe. Perfect for the holidays, perfect for whenever you just want it. It's Wednesday and I made it for dinner so this is what the entire plate looked like. So I'm going to show you guys how to make everything even though I didn't plan on it. But I'm just popping in for a minute. <laughs> so first I'm going to wash my collard greens using apple cider vinegar and water. I let it soak for like five minutes or so. And then, um, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to rinse it up. And then I'm going to cook it up. All right, so this is the smoked turkey that I'll be using. I'm not making a big old huge batch of collard greens. So I'm only going to use the two wing parts of the turkey wings. You can use whatever sm smoked meat you prefer. I'm also going to use down in here some onions and peppers and I'm using my slow cooker. You can use your pressure cooker. You can use uh, the stove top. It's totally up to you. Once I rinse up my turkey wings, I'm now going to put it in my slow cooker with some onions and the peppers I showed you guys. And then next I'm going to just put enough water to cover the turkey. I let this go about two hours just so it, it could get a head start. You know what I mean? It does take a long time to cook. So I put it in there for two hours so it get a head start. Of course, it's not going to be cooked but it got a head start if you know what I'm saying. And then so next, I'm going to move it around, you know, zhuzh it around, add a little bit of this, add a little bit of that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add the collard greens. Now for me, I'm not gonna add all my seasonings in the beginning, but I am gonna add the garlic. I only had garlic paste, so I used about two tablespoons of it. And I'm using two bay leaves and a half a stick of butter. Once I mix up the garlic all down in there, just like I'm doing here, if you don't have the garlic paste, use fresh garlic, no big deal. Now I'm just gonna stuff my collard greens all down into my slow cooker. It looks like tons and tons and tons of it, but it, it is gonna cook down. And after that, now I'm going to work on the wings. These are my washed and clean chicken wings. This is spicy, girl. If you don't have that in your house, I don't know what's going on. You need to have it in your house. Make sure you check out my link below. You want to season your chicken wings liberally, like liberally. And I'm also using the It's Lit Lemon Pepper. I feel like together combined, they have a nice distinct flavor. And so I combine them both a lot. So now I'm just going to pop everything in the oven covered so it can make its own juice. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. This is the collard greens two hours later. So in total, um, the turkey has been cooking for four hours and the collard greens have been cooking for two hours. All right, so now I'm gonna season this up. Once again, I'm going down in here with Spicy Girl, and I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of it. I'm also going to be using a tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder. As you notice, I'm not adding any additional salt because it doesn't need it. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of hot Swiss. You could add your own brand, whichever is your fave. You could add that. I'm also gonna add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And y'all, first of all, the smell is crazy. I'm now gonna add a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And you wanna mix that up really, really well. Still, the turkey is not all the way tender yet, so I'm gonna let it keep going for another hour, and then I'm gonna come back and check on it. After another hour or so, I took the meat off the turkey, and this is what it looks like, y'all. This thing is delicious. And I've made, you know, collard greens a few times, but this right here, I don't know what I did extra, honey. But it probably spicy, girl. <laughs> I don't know. But this is so delicious. So, so delicious. And I'm happy I made it. It was very comforting. Now for the cornbread. Now, I know I told y'all this video was not even supposed to be all of this. But I had a little bit of energy today. I said, let me just record the entire thing. This was supposed to only be a collard green recipe. I swear to God. But now I'm going to add the flour, the cornmeal, the butter, the buttermilk, the salt, the baking powder, the sugar. All ingredient measurements will be in my description box. This is a fail 
proof cornbread recipe better than your mama okay and don't argue with me <laughs> but you want to mix the dry ingredients together and get it nice and combined next i'm gonna add my eggs And now after the eggs, I'm going to add my buttermilk right down in here. And then I'm going to mix it up just to get it nice and combined because I am going to add my butter down in here as well. Look how bright and golden those eggs are. I love pasture-raised eggs. They're the best. <laughs> if you got the extra couple dollars, child, you'll go get them pasture-raised eggs. They're really good. I added my melted butter. And now, oh, child. Mm. <laughs> and now I'm going to mix it up real, really well. You want to pop this in the oven, bake it off. You know how this goes. And then at the end, I'm going to brush it with some honey butter and, well, honey almond butter. And uh, I'll probably make this recipe again when I come back with my uh, Thanksgiving edition, which is in November. I am going to be on a hiatus. I know y'all don't like when I do that, but I have something to, you know, do. And so this is what it looks like, you guys. I'm going to pop it in the oven and allow it to cook. Alright, so this is the chicken after one hour in the oven on 400. As you can see, the meat is falling off the chicken and I'm not even doing anything. Now I'm going to remove the chicken wings and it's going to leave this. You want to leave all the onions, everything in the pan and the chicken wings are over here on the right. Ignore my messy stove. I need to clean it. I've been recording, child. But anyway, now I'm going to make the gravy. So in this big old giant skillet, I have butter and now I'm adding flour. I'm going to mix it up really, really well, and I'm going to make a roux. And this is going to be the base of the gravy. All right, after the flour cooks out, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of the garlic paste and cook that out just like this. And it's, I'm just going to cook it out for maybe one minute just so it won't have like that raw garlic taste down in here. And then I'm going to add the juices, the onions, the peppers, the whole thing that was down with the uh, chicken in the oven. Y'all do not get, a, get rid of any of these juices. They're really, really good in the gravy. So, so good. So now next, I'm going to add a swirl of water around the pan. You know, I didn't have that much uh, chicken juices. So a swirl of water around the pan and now it's perfect. Uh, next, I'm going to add a swirl of heavy cream, probably a third cup. It wasn't even that much, just a swirl. I'm going to add some Worcestershire Swiss. I'm going to add Spicy Girl, of course. <laughs> and then, you know, but again, you could season this however you want to, you guys. You don't have to season it how I want, just season it to your liking. After it comes back up to a boil, now I'm going to put some smoked paprika because I wanted it. And then I'm going to put the chicken back in and let it cook for five minutes. The chicken is already done. You just want the flavors to marry. So just five minutes. This looks so good and amazing. The consistency of the gravy is on point. The color is on point. The chicken is nice and tender. And I hope y'all make it. This is the cornbread. I'm now brushing it with the honey butter almond. Almond honey butter. <laughs> and this is the collard greens. They're finally done. They're ready to go. And I just wanted to show y'all real quick what they look like. I hope y'all make this collard green recipe. It was so, so, so delicious. Spicy girl, the Baileys, the butter, um, the smoked turkey, everything just took it over the top. And this is what the entire plate looks like. Look how perfect that cornbread is. The chicken is perfect. I served it up with some couscous, but you could do mashed potatoes or rice. It's totally up to you. And um, yeah, so this was dinner, easy and simple. I fasted all day just so I could eat a plate, okay? I was drinking water for my life <laughs> just so I could eat a plate. 
but this is a cornbread it's nice and perfect and this is the collard greens over here on point as usual i didn't want the juices to get all over everything else so i put it in a ramekin but thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on my next video bye